Welcome to AI Live LiveMove. LiveMove allows you to create motion recognizers without programming that tell you what your players are doing with their Nintendo Wii controller. Let's take a look. Imagine I were creating a cooking game that had five different motions. Using LiveMove, I would turn to LM Maker, which is a program that comes with the SDK, and I would just show it how I wanted each of the motions to work. So if I were going to do frying, I would do some frying motions. A couple of different directions, different speeds. There we go. My next motion might be pounding. A little bit slower. It's pretty good. My next motion might be roll, rolling out dough. Might do it backwards. That's pretty good. And in true greasy spoon fashion, I'm going to throw the plates out at my customers. Your dinner, sir. Probably enough throwing. Now, this is a chicken-themed restaurant, and I want the players to play as the mascot from time to time. So I'm going to have them do a little chicken dance. Probably enough chicken. Now we've created all the data, so we need to make a motion recognizer out of it. So we create a new project, we'll call it cooking, and we will import all of the data. And then we'll click build, and we've created a motion recognizer. Now we can test this motion recognizer right here, so we will. And we'll create a test folder. All right, first test, throw. And it says throw. Next test, roll. Roll. Next test, pound. Pound. Fry. And lastly, chicken. Chicken. Now, if I do something it hasn't seen before, like a circle, it says undetermined. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, there you have it. We went from absolutely nothing to a complete motion recognizer without programming in a matter of minutes. That's the power of Live Move. Hi, welcome to AI Live Live Move. Live Move allows you to capture a wide variety of different kinds of motions. What you see here is LM Tuner, which is a sample application that ships with the SDK. It allows you to test classifiers. And what we're going to do is test a classifier that we made in about a morning that shows you a bunch of different crazy things that Live Move can do. So, first, imagine me as a cowboy. I'm lassoing a steer. I could be a lion tamer with a whip. I could be some sort of super spy and sneak up on somebody. I could be a guy with a screwdriver screwing things in. be some sort of a crazy cuckoo bird. Now, you can make moves in Live Move that are both easy and difficult to do. So if you were working on a family tennis game, you might have a really easy serve, which is both overhand and underhand. And those would be very easy for people to do. But if you wanted to make a hard move in there, like you come in and get a real celebrity tennis pro to do it for you, you might make it a little harder to do. So we have a pro serve in here. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. Let's try again. Nope, not quite. One last try. There we go. The pro serve. You could really see the fire coming off there. 
Live Move really does allow you to embed all sorts of different exciting moves without any programming in your game for your players to explore and enjoy. Thanks so much. Welcome to AI Live Live Move. We're going to show you a little game we made with Live Move called Balloon Pop. Let's take a look. In the middle there is a rocket launcher. The blue square on the left is my base, the little red triangle is me, and that's a big mean yellow balloon that's menacing my base. To target the balloon, I just need to draw the number that's on the balloon in the air. So here's a 2, and here's a 0, and here's a 4. And if I draw the wrong number here, if I draw a 0 instead of a 3, it launches a dud. And if I do something completely random, it has no idea what I was doing. That's pretty much the entire game, but it gets a lot more fun and a lot more interesting if we add more bases and more balloons. I'm going to choose which base I'm defending, just using the D-pad here. There we go. I was doing the motions a lot faster this time, but the motion recognizer was having no trouble keeping up. It's not a Wii demo unless we have two people playing at the same time, so my colleague Kurt's going to step up and join me. Kurt's going to be red, and I'm going to be blue. Kurt and I are different body types, but we're still going to be able to use the same motion recognizer. That's Balloon Pop. Thanks so much for watching.